Hello, my amazing artists. Today we are going to create a Jen Stark inspired drip drawing. I am so excited to create this project. It is so much fun. Let's learn a little bit about the artist Jen Stark before we get started. Jen Stark lives and works in Los Angeles, California. She is driven by her interest in conceptualizing systems to stimulate plant growth, evolution, infinity, fractals, and sacred geometries. She uses available materials such as wood, paper, metal, and paint. Her vivid colors are in direct conversation with the natural world and reflects how animals and plants react to one another through color. Wow, that's really, really interesting. Jen Stark also creates murals, and here's a mural in the Miami, Florida airport, which is awesome. So we're going to create the drip mural inspired by Jen Stark using organic lines and some bright colors in contrast with darker colors. This is a mural that my students created this year um, using construction paper and it is an inspiration from Jen Stark's mural. It was beautifully hung this year. The materials you will need for this lesson are white paper cut in half, pencil, eraser, and sharpener, markers, sharpies, or and scissors. Um, you can, if you don't have a lot of markers at home, um, you can use the colored pencils, the sharpies that were given to you in the bag, the crayons, the oil pastels. Just find some materials to color with. You can even use highlighters from around the house. See what you have in your home. For step one, you are going to cut your paper in half. I have a, I use a smaller paper. You can go ahead and use a really big paper if you want to. It's just going to be a really big, continuous drip going down. So that's up to you. Um, if you want to just keep going with it, I think that would be pretty cool. I'd like to see somebody do it. But for the sake of this lesson, this video not being really long, I am going to fold mine in half corner to corner. And then I'm going to use my scissor to cut it in half. For step two, you are going to draw your drips in pencil. Let's get our pencil ready. Remember we turn the sharpener, not the pencil. And then I also need a really good eraser, so make sure that you have a good eraser. As I'm drawing my drips, I can practice, but I'm going to draw going down and up, down and up. And some of them are smaller, some are bigger. It's an organic line, so it can really go any way that it wants to, as long as it has that curvy drip look to it. Now that I have my first line, I'm gonna go ahead and draw my second line, not touching the first line, trying not to. If it does, that's fine. Um, just like, make it like a game, like you can't touch the edges. And then I'm gonna continue doing another one. And that one's getting smaller. It's gonna be harder. And then I think I can fit one more. Once I have this, I can go ahead and I can then trace everything in black Sharpie. For step three, you're going to trace the pencil line with the Sharpie. It's okay if you don't really trace the line perfectly, just go with it. You can always erase the pencil line later. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to trace all of my lines that I just created in Sharpie. Step four is very important. Don't forget to erase all your pencil line because you don't want that to show when you start coloring with your marker and you can't erase it after you already colored with your color marker. So go ahead and do that now. Step five, I'm going to now pick my colors 
and start coloring. You want to make sure that you're picking colors that look nice together. I kind of stayed in the rainbow theme, but I had extra colors at home that were very bright. So I decided to use those and pick a color scheme that will work. I don't think I could do a complete rainbow, but um, I'm going to try and use these colors. coloring try not to touch the black sharpie um, because you don't want to get those really pretty colors dirty with that black sharpie so just be very careful it's okay if you do but I'm um, just trying to avoid touching that black sharpie because I don't want that black sharpie sharpie getting on that pretty yellow we are going to add the black contrasting drip colors so after I do a very bright color scheme I'm gonna then my next colors and my next drips are going to be black and white because it's really going to make that color pop as you can see on my artwork it separates the other colors so I'm just gonna do two I'm gonna do one on the left and one on the right and I'm going to drip all the way down, but not too far because I still want to add another color drip in there. Again, if you want to use that large piece of paper, it might help you to see how far you want to go. So I'm going to make my drips again. They are following the previous drip. I'm not going to be too hard on myself with that. I'm just going to have fun with it. And there I'm just going to skip a little section and then draw my drips again. Follow those lines. And I think I only have like three lines for those because they're smaller drips. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trace all of that in Sharpie and then all I need is this Sharpie, this black Sharpie for this section because all I'm doing is black and then leaving the white space of the background. Finishing up these sections I'm gonna go over some of the outlines again and erase some of those pencil lines in the white because I don't want them to show up in the white I'm gonna go ahead and trace some of those lines at the top to kind of help it pop okay step seven I'm just gonna make more drips now I have this big section in the middle but I need to start at the bottom so I'm gonna start at the bottom and make my drips and I'm going to start at the edge of the page and I make my drips for my next line. And then I have to work my way up. So I'm going to then find some more space, maybe just little spaces, little lines, little curve lines and follow those lines all the way up. And I'm going to try and make a rainbow this time. So I need to have at least six sections for each color of the rainbow. lines are closer together I'm gonna use a smaller sharpie for this part if you have a smaller sharpie I suggest using it for the more finer details if not the other sharpie will work just fine just please make sure you're using the black sharpie first before coloring because you don't want that black sharpie to kind of bleed into the other colors because it tends to do that you'll notice if you do that um, the sharpie kind of bleeds into the colors but if you put that sharpie down first then you're fine. Once I'm done with that Sharpie, I wanna go back and erase any pencil line that I see. So I'm gonna go back and just erase them to make it nice and clean. And then I can go ahead and start with my first color. I decided to use the Sharpies that we got in our art bag. 
just to kind of show you what we can do with the rainbow colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace some of my lines before I start coloring them in. And then I'm going to make my rainbow. The big trick to this lesson is to do it section by section and not get lost in the lines of your artwork. And definitely trace over those lines again. Be super careful after you color and then trace with Sharpie. So you don't want that color to bleed into the other colors and make it kind of messy looking. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It came out awesome. Now, to add a little bit of extra drip to it, I'm gonna cut off the edges. So I'm just going to cut around super carefully um, all that white space on the bottom that's not colored in. These are so much fun. They are so cool looking. And I wish I could collect all of yours together to hang them up, but maybe you can make a couple of them and hang them up around your house or somewhere cool to make a mural and take a picture and show me. This awesome project was so much fun. I hope you guys have fun creating. And remember, I will always be there to help you out if you need help.